My name is Zoe, aka Sightless Senshi, and I am a blind gamer. Ever since I first discovered video games, I have barely put down a controller. I'm going to go ahead and jump online, try and play against some people who are sighted, even though I'm completely blind. I am an absolute killer at Mortal Kombat. One of the most morbidly satisfying things to do <laughs> in a fighting game is to demolish someone completely and utterly. To then inform them that they were just defeated by a blind opponent. It really drives home the complete obliteration of the sense of pride they may have had in their technique. Yes, the brutality! It really kind of makes you reevaluate, like, uh, hey, am I good at this game? And being able to do that to someone who intrinsically should be better than me at the game, I have to say is a cruel but satisfying pleasure. So this here is the gaming room. When I pick up a fighting game for the first time, I have to spend hours in the tutorial mode with just one character just to first off learn the sounds of the game. I need to be aware of those sounds so I can tell where my character is. And if hers isn't moving, I don't know where she is relative to me. My spouse will play the other character and who will allow me to practice with her. So what I need to do when I hear an attack coming across the screen is I need to be able to practice reacting to it and hearing what it sounds like when it hits, when it blocks, what it sounds like when characters jump, things like that. Can you tell me a little bit about what that move is? Does it hit high, mid, low? High. High? Okay, so it's a high opener. That's actually kind of cool. I learn how much damage I'm doing to my opponent with every hit. Basically for me, being a blind gamer means that I have to practice four times as hard to be a quarter as good. So you can see that we're slowly picking out what this guy does. And with him, I'm also learning to react to her. She never lets me win. She refuses to give me any mercy or any easy treatment. And I would have it no other way because in doing so, she shows me an ultimate form of respect from one competitor to another. And she ensures that she's helping me be the best possible gamer that I can be. I was born with a condition called Lieber's congenital amaurosis or LCA, which is a genetically inherited condition that caused my retinas to degenerate over time such that I was born almost completely blind and got progressively blinder um, as I got older. Right now as far as what I can see um, basically a whole lot of nothing. Um, I can feel the presence of light because my eyes still sense it so I can feel a sensation near my eyes when there's light but as far as what I'm actually getting out of the presence of my eyes um, they don't do a whole lot except look beautiful. The first time I ever played a video game was on a Sega Genesis that my cousins and I shared at my grandmother's house. While I couldn't see what I was doing I was enchanted by the gaming world and the the fun that was had during those great memories. Gaming really turned into a lifelong passion for me. It's been pretty hard for me to put down a controller ever since then. Kelsey and I met um, on, uh, oh goodness, what website was it, love? OkCupid. Okay we met on OkCupid, okay that's where it was. It's mm -hmm. super romantic. You know, in terms of my blindness, Kelsey picks up where God left off. <laughs> we'll work through it together with the crosshair that allows us to play two controllers and control one character and then we'll just go through it together, figure out what Zoe can do, and I'll do the rest, basically. We are playing some Warframe, doing a defense mission. Kelsey's gonna handle the navigation so that we actually get somewhere, and the shooting so we actually hit something. And I'm gonna handle the casting of our great Warframe magics and the uh, melee beatdowns. And the violence resumes. Oh, wave one down, hell yeah. She got really good at Mortal Kombat and it me off, which made me get better at Mortal Kombat. And we've kind of just been pushing each other ever since to get better at fighting games by getting better than each other and basically competing constantly to improve ourselves and each other. Good. All right. All right, good job, babe. Bump it. Hell yeah.
All right, awesome. That was that was fun, as always. I'm going to try and beat three sighted players in a row. It can be really fun to tell people that they just got owned by a blind gamer. Okay, fight one. Let's go. One down, two to go. This person is good. Damn, they keep blocking me. Back to zero, but it's fine. That was just a warm up. Game over. Lena win. Nice. Come on, come on. It was close at the end there, but I did it. <laughs> awesome. All right. Nicely done. I definitely want to uh, try this challenge again someday. Finally, got good enough at fighting games to start winning that constant drive to overcome obstacles that people thought would be impossible for a blind person, and then not only to do so, but to do so equal to or better than my sighted peers, made gaming a really challenging but ultimately incredibly fulfilling experience for me.